morning YouTube. Um, I have Mr. Xylin here. I'm going to do an outfit change for him. What I have planned to put on him right now is this um, blue, navy blue top. It's Granimals. This is a size preemie. And the thing with him, his body is kind of chunky, but he has these little short arms. So I'm going to see how this works. I'm thinking the sleeves might be perfect for him. Uh, the body might be a little bit tight, but we'll see. But I have this. It has the um, gray stripe with the um, sports balls here, here. And then I have this, these gray pants with the red and white um, footies on there. So I'm hoping that that works out for him. Um, it is early in the morning. I don't think it's 8 o'clock yet, but... Um, I did get the kids off to school. My husband, he's um, off to work. And I have the laundry started. I'm going to start on dinner in a little bit. But I just wanted to talk to you guys first. Like I said last night, I was going to come back with a different topic. It's crazy because right as I finished recording that video last night with my, my um, irresponsible haul, my husband came home. Um, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't record when my husband is home. He, um, he knows that I have a YouTube page and that I record videos for my YouTube page, but he doesn't really get it. Um, you know, he, he knows I have the babies and he knows that I go way overboard in buying stuff for them and caring for them. Um, but... And he, he doesn't bash me about it. He doesn't talk down about it. But he's not like full on supportive. He doesn't touch them or do anything with them. Um, so I don't record when he's home. And that kind of brings me right into what I wanted to discuss. Um, I want to discuss the Rose Doll Show. So... I'm coming up on a year in the Reborn. Well, a year of knowing about Reborns. Um, it was about last November-ish. And right now is um, the end of October. So it's been about a year since I've heard about them. And then the I heard about the Rose Doll Show, which was in July um, in Colorado. I didn't hear about it until about May or June. And that really wasn't enough time for me to get everything planned. Um, but I've watched so many videos from those that went. And I really, really would like to go. Um, and my thing about it, it's not about the shopping. Because, you know, I'm expecting that things will probably be really, really high priced there. But my thing is really about the interaction and meeting those in the community and being around others that know and and love the hobby that's really the big part to me you know um the ladies there you stay in the hotel with other reborn um ha uh moms or families and you interact with them and you know I've, i saw some some of them it wasn't always just about reborn you know some of them they went to the mall together they went to walmart together just that sense uh it's it's the other part of the reborn world yes you have the dolls but then you have i see it as like just a whole community a whole family which is really what the videos tie into is us sharing our journey as reborn um lovers so um being able to meet those others in the reborn family and reborn community and show off our babies and not feel ashamed, you know, not feel like, you, you know, we're being made fun of, but to kind of, kind of have a, oh, I fit in here with these dolls. Um, that's really, really what I'd like to go for and experience. Um, this year, the show is in Utah. I forget if it's in May, June, or July. But I am really, I know that my situation right now financially is difficult. Hopefully I'll have um, a great turnaround. I am applying, I am looking. So hopefully pretty soon I can get into something to help improve our finances. 
um, and then I'll hopefully be able to plan that out to go um, to Utah for the doll show. Um, I just wanted to reach out to, to those that watch my videos and just, you know, get some feedback. Have you heard about the doll show? Um, have you been before? Are you thinking to go? Um, and just hear what you guys have to say about it. I personally don't have anyone, um, really close to me that reborns, um, you know, that's into the hobby and the community. So... My day-to-day -day life enjoying these dolls is pretty lonely. You know, that's where the YouTube videos comes in because that's the interaction that I have um, with others in the community. Um, my kids know about the dolls. They like the dolls. My daughter especially because like I, saw, I said before, she really wanted the, my silicone, my little cheap silicone, and I gave that to her. So, you know, she's enjoying that, but my daughter is seven. <laughs> you know, it, that the same level of um, caring for them and, and buying things for them and playing with them is not, you know, we're not on the same level. So as far as having adult interaction with someone that's on the same level as myself that can really discuss the hobby and, you know, those details, that I don't get. So I would really, really love to attend the doll show Um and and experience that so that's it ladies here's yeah uh xylan i'm sorry i'm about to call him yazra here's xylan in his outfit the preemie shirt did fit surprisingly it is snug the sleeves are kind of short but it's all right um and his little pants and it's put on a blue hat on him um since cassidy's been here and since i've changed najir over to a boy I really have been neglecting um, some of my other babies. So, you know, I need to change it up just a little bit here. He's still my handsome little guy and I love his face and I enjoy him. Just need to get back to spending my time evenly with my babies. But all right, YouTube, um, it's a cloudy day, really dreary, rainy. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.